It's worse than we feared. ITV are not giving up on Philip Schofield that fast. And Amanda Holden has her say. Like and subscribe to the channel. The internet's talking about it. And so are we. Let's get into it. What's going on with the Philip Schofield story? Because it's all very confusing. One minute ITV have sacked him in a very dramatic fashion where he's hosting this morning on a Thursday and come Monday morning, he's been dramatically replaced by the likes of Alison Hammond and Dermot O'Leary. And then on the other hand, he's been reassured by ITV that he will be hosting the British Soap Awards when they return in June. And he's also been promised a prime time show of his own. So they're not cutting ties with him completely. They're keeping him on. They just wanted to get rid of him off this morning for some really strange reason that they've not really clarified or really gone into detail as to why. The British Soap Awards have been confirmed. They will be pre-recorded on Saturday the 3rd of June and then they will air on Tuesday the 6th of June. So they're pre-recorded this year. They're not live. Is this to do with Philip Schofield or was that always the plan? Who knows? But one thing is for sure, ITV are backing him really hard. After 20 years plus, for 20 plus years of service, it's got to be said, you know, whether you like Philip Schofield or not, he's he's given a lot to the channel, to the network as a whole. Uh, and so they're not cutting ties with him completely. They're keeping him on board. And it was so apparent, even from his last closing statement when he resigned, that he, he reassured his fans that he will be coming back. It's not the end of him. He's still got a career. He'll be back for the Soap Awards. He said it so confidently, it's almost like he shook hands with ITV and it was part of the deal that he steps down from this morning, but they'll keep him on and they'll give him new projects. But a new statement from ITV has come out. A spokesperson has said that Philip Schofield's decision to step down from this morning was as his statement made clear, a decision agreed between Philip and ITV. So they've really backed him again here. Uh, British soap star Debbie Arnold, who's best known for playing April Branning in EastEnders. So EastEnders actress, former EastEnders actress, has come out and really slammed the idea of Philip Schofield being the host of the British Soap Awards. She said, it's not tainted Philip Schofield as much as the fact that it will all be about him and not about these other poor actors who spent years trying to get these awards. It will just be all about him and nobody will even be looking at them and they'll just be looking at him. Do you know what? She's got a point there. It shouldn't, the, the, the amount of press and the coverage, I'm sure the people that have organized the British Soap Awards are loving this because so many people are gonna tune in to watch the British Soap Awards just to see what Philip's gonna say, the jokes he's gonna make, how it's all gonna go down, the audience's reaction, is he gonna get booed off stage? People are gonna tune in just for those battles alone. But I can also see where this actress is coming from, where it, he's gonna be center stage, it's gonna be all about host, whereas really it should be about the soaps, it should be about the actors. Meanwhile, Amanda Holden is not holding back either. She's fired shots here. Uh, Amanda previously fell out with Phil years ago. This was when ITV were first tossing up who's gonna sit alongside Philip Schofield when Fern Britton first left. It was between Amanda Holden and Holly Willoughby and ITV, uh, well, there's apparently there's claims that behind the scenes, Philip went and said to ITV that you need to hire Holly Willoughby in instead of Amanda, which I think is, I can really see that happening and I can see that being the truth because Philip almost, I think he probably wanted Holly because she was the younger model in the sense that he could mold her and manipulate her into any way he wanted. Whereas Amanda Holden, on the other hand, she had so much experience behind her. She's fiery, she's outspoken. She's not gonna get controlled and manipulated by the likes of Philip Schofield. So Phil's always, we, we, know, we know he tends to lean towards younger people in general. So it's not a surprise that he sort of opted and pushed for uh, Holly Willoughby to his to be his sidekick almost on this morning. So Amanda Holberden has sort of addressed the whole Philip Schofield scandal that's been going on recently. Um, she's actually backing Doma O'Leary and Alison Hammond to be the permanent host on the show. She feels like they're doing a really good job. She wants them to stay on board. So this might be a huge surprise to a lot of people who thought that this was it. Philip's career is done. He's finished. He's tarnished forever. There's no coming back. But ITV are reassuring people again and again that no, 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 Philip Schofield is still at the helm. He's still a big part of our channel. Surely if he's done all these horrible allegations and stories that are in the press and in the media and online, Surely they'd want to distance themselves away. So it is causing a lot of confusion. 
is he a bad man? Is he a good guy? Because one minute they're fully supporting him, then the next minute they're throwing him under the bus, they're getting rid of him so easily. And in a really embarrassing way, if he is innocent and if half the claims out there are not true, which could be the case, it's the sense that they've then they've really gone hard at him in terms of they've gone from zero to 100 really fast and it could be really unfair and he could take them to court it could hold them liable for something like this let me know your thoughts in the comments like and subscribe to the channel we've just hit a thousand subscribers which is amazing let's keep going and i'll see you in the next one peace